So Fortnite's doing some stuff right now that I'm kind of surprised they haven't done yet. Um, with this one being said, they're bringing back Tilted. Tilted Towers and some other fan favorite locations. So let's get into this article from Gamerant that's going to be talking about the different things they're bringing back and what exactly they're trying to do, I guess. So let's get into it. Fortnite's bringing Tilted Towers and other fan favorite locations, but with a twist. I wonder what this twist is. Hmm. 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 Fortnite's bringing back the OG map with some major changes and new game modes. Fortnite Reloaded featuring fan favorite locations. Okay. Keep going. The return of uh, Athena Island in Season OG was a significant moment, setting a player count record of over 44 million players trying to play the OG map. Which, I mean, there was. We had like 30 minute queue times just to get into a lobby. It was a pain in the butt. But it was definitely a lot of fun to be able to visit OG locations that I remember playing back in like 2018, 2019. Love it. Uh, Fortnite Reloaded is a new game mode based on the OG map. It's set to launch June 22nd, which is tomorrow, with update version uh, 30.20 along with Summerfest. Okay. Fortnite is once again giving players the opportunity to land on the OG map, but this time around, there's major changes being made. For years, one of the most frequent requests among the Fortnite community was the return of Chapter 1 map, also known as Athena Island or the OG map. It got to a point where players would try to replicate it as closely as possible in Fortnite Creative. Epic Games had to step in and remove some of these islands as they copied the company's intellectual properties, which I think is kind of dumb. If somebody put in that much time to create something that you have, the ability to just drop in there for creative mode, like... It, I mean, I get it. it copyrights your intellectual properties, but like there's a whole bunch of stuff that could potentially be, you know, known as that. Eventually, Caven brought back Athena Island with the release of Fortnite OG. So the question is, when are these other maps being like reintroduced? Just saying. Now, if they did like an OG thing like every year, that'd be pretty dope. You're definitely breaking records then. Season OG only lasted a month, but it was one of the most significant moments in the game's history. Despite its popularity over the years, it was thanks to the release of Season OG that Fortnite reached a player count record of over 44 million players logged in to try out the OG map. And I do think it's funny because people like me, I, I started Season 3, right? Um, but my buddies that started much, much later than me, they did not care for it because... OG Fortnite was way less forgiving than Fortnite is nowadays. Um, while many uh, had never landed on Athena Island before, others were brought back to experience it once again. Many gamers were sad to say goodbye to the OG locations once the season came to an end, which is true. Like, bro, drop and tilted, drop and tilted, and then right back to lobby. Um, despite being removed for the second time, some players had never lost hope that the Chapter 1 map would become available permanently as it, as its own game mode. Like Team Rumble, for example. I, Me personally, I don't care for Team Rumble. Team Rumble's too slow of a paced game, I guess you could say, compared to what I'm used to. Like, it, uh, Even though it's not confirmed how long it'll be available, a new game mode based on the OG map is coming to Fortnite, and it's titled Fortnite Reloaded. It appears that Fortnite Reloaded will feature a remixed version of Chapter 1's Island with some fan favorite locations such as Tilted, Pleasant, Retail. Retail! I do love retail. And uh, on top of that, there's a brand new location named Sandy Sheets and smaller versions of Loot Lake, like <laughs> named a Little Loot Lake. Okay, okay, okay. So here is the trailer. We're going to mute this. Because we'll get striked down seven seconds and all... Oh, wrong button. It didn't really show much. It just shows a rift, new map, new mode, tilted towers. Okay, so it shows some of the locations that you're potentially going to visit. Um, these teasers are only seven seconds long, but it's clear that this version of the map is much smaller compared to the OG island. Yeah, significantly. It's possible that the Battle Royale matches will take... A uh, place in Fortnite Reloaded won't be meant for 100 players. Before Team Rumble, there was another big team game mode called 50 vs. 50. 50 vs. 50 was kind of fun because, like, it, 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 like, I don't know. 
I, I played 50 versus 50 a lot way back in the day. However, it is easier to keep this a permanent mode with fewer players, which is why Team Rumble has a game of six uh, has teams of 16 gamers competing against each other. This could support the idea of Fortnite Reloaded will be a permanent addition to Fortnite. Now, I mean, with it being a smaller map, I wouldn't mind if it's 50 versus I mean, uh, 50 players dropped in the map, or even less. Like, you could do 30 or 40, depending on the size of the map, because we're not, as of right now, even with that small teaser trailer, we're not exactly sure the exact dimensions of the map that is, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Fortnite announced that the upcoming game mode will be available on June 22nd, which means it'll be added, blah. This patch also brings Summerfest to Fortnite, so fans can expect a lot of fun to play in the month of July. Let's get it. I think, personally, I think this is actually a really good move. Um, I'm kind of surprised they haven't talked about bringing um, the other islands for Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 into the fold. Now, if they do 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 if they do end up doing an og season two or chapter two whatever which i mean that would be pretty cool do a month long in october before they refresh and send us into chapter six let's go full screen anyways you guys let me know down below are you kind of excited for this return of some of the og maps are you kind of excited for the ability to potentially drop back into Tilted Retail and see exactly what they got in Low Loot League. I think this is going to be a, a good thing, especially depending on how they do it. Now, if they do it right, it's going to be amazing. If they do it wrong, obviously it's going to suck. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to mash that like button. Comment down below and subscribe. We're on our way to 8,000 subscribers. I personally can't do this without you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll catch you guys later.